In this video, we're gonna take a look at a routed interface. A routed interface is generally associated with routers, like a switch port is generally associated with switches. So let's go ahead and jump into a router here and take a look at uh, some of the settings and then how to configure a routed interface. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is do a show IP interface brief. And this allows us to see all of the different ports that are on this device. And we can see that there are two fast ethernet ports and a serial port. And the first thing that we'll see is that the these say that they're administratively down. So these devices, uh, the routed interface generally come with it already shut down and you have to bring it live. And then uh, we can see that there's no IP addresses that are associated with this. So let's jump in here and let's start uh, figuring out how to configure these. The other thing I wanna do is a show run and take a look at the configuration that it ha exists on these interfaces already. So it has a no IP address, it's in shutdown, and it actually calls out duplex auto and speed auto. Whereas with the switch port, we didn't actually see it call out duplex auto and speed auto. Uh, it just, that was the default, but it didn't actually say it on the interface. So now let's do some configuration of this. Let's uh, first of all, get into the, we can do a range of interfaces with this as well, but let's just get into the FA00. So I'm going to type in, uh, get into the, uh, global configuration mode, and then I wanna get into interface FA00, so I'll type that into it. So now I'm into fast ethernet 00, and let's configure it. Uh, one thing that I can configure it with is a IP address. So let's type in IP address, and then it needs to know the IP address. So it is, we're gonna assign a 10.1.0.1 to this address. And this is pretty typical of a router that ha is the default gateway for the network. So, and which is what this router will be in the future. So this is a 10.1.0.1, the first address, usable address in the uh, network. Okay, so then we have a mask that we need to add to it. So for this network, it's gonna be a 255.255.255.0. And there we have it, we can hit enter and now that IP address is assigned to it. Now, it's still not live at this point in time. It has that shutdown command put on the interface. So we have to do a no shut to take that off. So now that port will go live and let's just see a, uh, if we do, do show IP interface brief and hit enter, we see now that is up. Uh, so usually you'd see like a notification that would pop up here, but I have notifications turned off on this machine right now, so we don't see that it that it comes up. But this is uh, now this device is up, this port is up rather, and the IP address is set on it. So there are uh, just like a switch port, we can do things like set the duplex on it. So I could set the duplex on it. Uh, I could set the speed on it, and I can set some of the other settings on it, just like. Uh, the switch port, uh, like we looked at the switch port. If I wanted for some reason to bring it back down and turn it off, all I'd have to do is the shutdown command on it and it would uh, it would go back off. So I do want it to be live, so I'm gonna do a no shut on it and now it's back up and running and devices can connect to it. 